Are you feeling like a zombie lately? Tired of the same old energy drinks promising the world but delivering the jitters at a crash? Look no further than Sneak Energy, your secret weapon for all your energy needs. With all natural ingredients, Sneak will give you all the energy you need to boost through your day without feeling like a lab rat on caffeine. Don't believe us? Try it yourself and see what a difference it can make to your routine. So what are you waiting for? Hit the link in the description and pick up your Sneak Starter Pack today. Now enjoy the clip. ...with today, but we're going to hit it off straight away with two big stories. We're going to start off with this from Declan Rice, and I feel the need that to... Do, I, you know, I like doing this accent anyway, but I feel the need to do this accent because it's where it came from. Slow Sports News, Jim White. Manchester United, Declan Rice bid, £100 million. Yellow tie, this is where it came from. Mad story, whether it's true, I don't know, but uh, it is coming in from Jim White on TalkSport, said yesterday that the price has been set for Declan Rice of £120 million and that Manchester United actually made a bid of £100 million last summer that got rejected. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? I, I tell you what I think about that is I don't... I don't want to say it's wrong, but it doesn't to me seem right that we did bid for Declan Rice £100 million last year. I just don't know when that would have happened, why we would have gone in that high, and why his price would now be £120 million. I don't believe Declan Rice actually has got that long left on his contract. I think, it's, I think he's got like um, maybe two years left on his contract. I think it's 2025. So why would you be paying £120 million for him? And why would West Ham reject £100 million for him last year? Um, West Ham seem to have very, very odd, um, uh, what's the word, uh, ideas about what Declan Rice is worth. Um, Andre says it was probably before Casemiro, £120 million, question mark, says Lutti. I'd take Casido any day, says Kyle. Well, we know the market for midfielders is going to be inflated in the summer. We saw Enzo Fernandez go for €120 million. Euros. That was his release clause. We know Jude Bellingham's going to go for big money. So West Ham are quite clearly going to cash in on a player that they've kept for two years who would like to have left. I think Declan Rice likes being at West Ham, but he's made no secret of the fact that he would love to go and play for a, you know, a Champions League club and test himself. And I think he's been wanting to do that for the last two years. And I think what you've got here is a situation where the player probably has some sort of verbal agreement with West Ham that he can leave this summer. But West Ham will want to get the biggest price they can get. They see a market in the midfield market this summer and they're going to push the envelope because a lot of people want midfielders. Arsenal want a midfielder. Chelsea may still want another midfielder. Manchester United want a midfielder. Liverpool need a midfielder. That's just in the Premier League. Man City may well want a midfielder. So, you know, and as I say, that's just the Premier League. What about the Real Madrid's? What about the Barcelona's? What about the Bayern Munich's? What about the PSG's? So there's a huge market there. And as we know, Declan Rice, Jude Bellingham, Casido would be would be three Premier League ones. Well, not Premier League for Bellingham, but you know what I mean. Hi, Mark. If both were available, would you prefer Rice or Bellingham? And can you please shout out my uh, Man United group, says Tyler. There we go, Tyler. Um, I would prefer Bellingham over Declan Rice because I think what we're looking for is somebody to go next to Casemiro who can box the box it, whereas I think Declan Rice can do that, but basically people see Declan Rice as a CDM. Would you play with two CDMs? Um, Casemiro and Declan Rice. I think that would upset the balance of what Ten Hag is trying to do. I do think Declan Rice is, you know, is capable of playing in that stadium behind me. I do. I, I, I think he's a good player. I, I've, I've always said that and I, I do like it. I just never felt that he'd be a Man United player. In some ways, I put him above Harry Kane. I know Harry Kane doesn't play centre midfield. I do like Harry Kane, but I just feel that um, Harry Kane uh, age profile wouldn't fit Manchester United. But I agree with what uh, Sean Walker says. It's the price for me. Declan, that is exactly the issue here. The, the issue here is the price for Declan Rice. I think Declan Rice is worth no more than 80 million. And even then, some people, I mean, what, what, what price point would you say? Even then, at 80 million, I would go, you're pushing it a little bit. But the reason I would say 80 million is because, look, to be fair, um, Harry Maguire went for 80 million pounds, and that was that'll be four years ago this summer. Um, he was overinflated, but I think 80 million pounds for Declan Rice is probably where I anything above that I start to get concerned. Um, and 120 million pounds definitely. The ceiling for pri for Rice is uh, when it comes to price is 90 million, no more than that. And and if United are going to wander into the 100 million, 120 million, pr you, 
you know exactly what'll happen. I like Rice. I like him as a player. I could see him doing well at Manchester United. If you, you know, I think some people don't think he's as good as he is. When you watch him play, he's actually very consistent and he does a very, very good job. But if you pay £100 million for a player like that, you bring him to Man United, it's the Anthony effect times 10. It will be the scrutiny of, is he good enough to play for Manchester United and be a £100 million player? And it could go the Jack Grealish way, where you see glimpses, but they're never really in the team that much. Um, or they could flop completely, or he could revel in it. But there is an, ele there is an element of risk. And of course, the big, big countenance to that is that if you do not spend £100 million on Declan Rice and you spend that money on Casido, you've still got money in your pocket. If you spend it on somebody from Europe, you've still got money in your pocket. If you spend it on De Jong, you've still got money in your pocket. And if you spend £20 million more, you've got, um, you've got uh, Jude Bellingham. So the price is prohibitive, definitely. But look, as I said, this is breaking news from yesterday. That uh, I nearly called him Sir Jim White. So Jim, wait, I don't want it. I, I'm Scottish, I don't want it. Maybe he does, I don't know. Um, I was, I'm getting mixed up with Sir Jim Radcliffe. Robert McCormack says, I like Foster's Teddy Kane comparison player of the year at 34, says Robert McCormack. Um, yeah, so I think that uh, this is, yeah, it came in from Jim White that Manchester United had made a bid for, a, for, for Declan Rice 100 million last year and that his price tag this summer will be 100 million. Bellingham all the way, says Naz, he'd be perfect for us. Just to... Before we talk about this Martial story, I just want to say as well, do we think that uh, apparently there's something wrong with the volume? If anyone can check that out, we're low on volume. Loads of people in the chat are saying that we're low on volume, so I don't know what's going on here. Rice is 65 million. I'd only spend 100 on Bellingham. If you got Rice for 70, secured Sabitzer for 30, that's good business, uh, says Mike. Did we, um, did we bid for Declan Rice last summer was something I wanted to talk about. Uh, some people are saying it's fine, so we'll carry on. Um, I think that when it comes to whether we bid for Declan Rice last summer, it seems odd that we'd spend £100 million on Declan Rice or bid £100 million on Declan Rice, but I don't think anybody can say it didn't happen. So I'm not going to throw Jim White under the bus here with his slow sports news. He could be correct. Declan Rice, £100 million bid last summer. Manchester United, who knows? Um, but I think... It would be odd, but there was that two-week gap in August where we went from Rabio and um, Anatovic to Anthony and Casemiro, and we spent a combined 150 million quid. Um, Kane could become the next Van Nistelrooy at Man United as Perth. No, he couldn't. Um, and I'm not even going to entertain that nonsense. And uh, yeah, rubbish. Absolutely terrible opinion. How can he become the next Van Nistelrooy? I'm, I'm entertaining it now. How can he become the next Van Nistelrooy when we bought Man Van Nistelrooy in his early 20s? And um, I think Van Nistelrooy was 24 when we bought him, actually. Harry Kane would be 30. Th th this is my thing. I want the next Van Nistelrooy at Man United. I don't want a 30-year-old who's coming towards the end of his career. I don't believe what Ben Foster said yesterday, that Harry Kane will be four years scoring loads and loads of goals. I don't. We'll see. We'll see, because he will play for the next four years. Let's see how many goals he's scoring at 34, and let's see how many games.